Hello and welcome everyone. This is Dr. Tim Liptrap in our Principles of Finance class. Today we're looking at stock valuations and a problem set that's going to cover three different areas. The first one we're going to look at is what is the required return when a company sells at a certain price, a stock price. We're looking at the dividend yield and we're also looking at something called the capital gains yield. So why don't we run through the basic problem set for this. The company has, it says the next dividend payment by ABC Inc. will be $3.15 per share. The dividends are anticipated to maintain a growth rate of 2.5% forever. If the stock currently sells for $49, what is, that's per share, what is the required return? It's a relatively simple uh, formula. It is R, which is the required return, would be equal to the dividend of 1 over the P of the 0, the price of the 0, plus the G, though that's that's what today's price is, the zero. So we have R is equal to three dollars and fifteen cents divided by forty nine plus point two oh five, which is the growth rate right there. So when you multiply that all out, it comes out to be eight not point nine percent. The dividend yield is well, now whenever you see yield, just remember it's a percentage. Is a dividend next year divided by the current price. What is the dividend next year? So D one, so the, which is three dollars and fifteen cents divided by the price, or 6.4% is the dividend yield for this particular stock. Then the capital gains yield, or it's the percentage increase in the stock price, is also known as, is also the same as the dividend growth rate, or 2.5%. So the growth rate is 2.5%, that's going to go up 2.5%, so our capital gains yield is 2.5%.